We're not in a random part of New Zealand. This is right along the Alpine Fold. So here we're using distributed acoustic sensing. So effectively we're transforming an unused telecommunication fiber, the same one that we use for house internet. So this is an unprecedented opportunity. We're currently standing on the Australian plate, but just on the other side of the river is the Pacific plate. What we're using the dark fiber for is to shoot a laser down the fiber, um, and in this case, across the Alpine fault. Knowing about the long-term behavior of the fault, we, we are really trying to now understand what's to come. What we know about this fault suggests that it produces really big earthquakes. We are very late in the typical time between one big earthquake and the next. Something like the DAS experiment that we're doing with the chorus fibre at, at Haast enables us to acquire extremely dense measurements. In seismology, we usually put individual instruments out, like seismometers, tens of kilometres, hundreds of kilometres apart. But when we use dark fibre, we're actually sampling every few metres. So that means that we have 8,000 individual sensors along the fault here, instead of one or two or maybe half a dozen if you're lucky. The point is we're trying to use recordings of small earthquakes using noise, using the signals that are occurring all the time to inform our uh, understanding of big ones to come. All the other scientists that are working on different fault zones are very interested in the results. But I'm also hoping that the uh, local government, where they have to develop seismic hazard map, will be able to incorporate what we have found, helping New Zealand citizens to be more prepared for earthquakes along the Alpine Fault.